Hey YouTube, my name is Eric and in this video I'm going to share with you ideas and strategies on how to sell products on YouTube without spending one dollar in advertising. Yeah! YouTube is the world's third largest search engine and Google is the largest. The best part about video content is that it can rank on both platforms in order to sell your product or service. In this video, we're not going to be discussing YouTube influencers or how to build an ad funnel. This will be actionable advice on how someone with no YouTube presence can leverage the platform to make sales organically. My definition of organic means that you'll see a progressive increase in views, leads, and sales as your video content gets better positioning. I'll be sharing with you the following three strategies, the hem haw strategy, the Trojan horse method, and the educational sale. Let's start out with the hem haw strategy. This type of campaign is designed and targeted towards people who are hemming and hawing over what purchase decision to make. So they go to YouTube or Google and start ending a search query and that indicates that they're close to a purchase decision but need to be swayed one way or the other. For any video campaign you create that is focused on organic views, it's imperative you know and understand your searcher's intent. For example, I worked on a campaign with Eagle Lawnmowers. The focus of the campaign was on researchers who are hemming and hawing between gas versus electric mowers. As of making this video, if you Google or search on YouTube for gas versus electric lawnmower, my video is number one on both platforms, driving awareness and direct sales for Ego. The beautiful part is that when you design your strategy around ranking content, it has a snowball effect. Here's what I mean by that. Let's take a look at the analytics of that video. The video was uploaded on May 30th, 2018, and you'll see it capping out at about 20 to 21 views a day. This is because the video was still a tiny snowball at the top of the hill, but as time progresses, the video achieved better rankings in Google and YouTube, and that momentum has created a much larger snowball, picking up views at an accelerated rate. Now the video is getting 80 to 90 views a day and should continue to accelerate year over year. Some skeptics might be thinking, well, that's not a lot of views. To that, I'd say it all depends on the searcher's intent. You want to understand searcher's intent so that you can understand the mindset that your potential buyer has when they're researching. The key word in gas versus electric lawnmower is the word verse. That little two letter abbreviation is a buyer's word. This person is researching two categories of products because he or she is hemming and hawing and wants to make a purchase. Now let's say someone searches how to start an Eagle lawnmower. This keyword is not as valuable because the context of the searcher tells us that this person already owns the product and just needs help using it. The searcher's intent is important as it'll give you clues to where they are in the buying cycle. Are they just about to purchase and comparing two brands or categories, or are they researching on how to use the product they just purchased? The Ego case study is only one example of a hem haw video. Someone's not sure if they want to buy a Keurig or an Espresso as they're two different types of beverage machines. A review video comparing these two established brands can garner a lot of views. In this particular case, over 43,000 in less than a year. Now you might be wondering, well, yeah, those are two huge brands. Of course, there's search volume, but maybe my product isn't as established. That brings me to my second strategy, the Trojan horse method. You're probably aware of the giant Trojan horse that was used as a sneaky way for the Greeks to enter the city of Troy and take it over. In YouTube marketing, the Trojan horse is a clever tactic for you to get more eyeballs on your product by using established brands. Here's an example of this in action. In the wintertime, sunrise alarm clocks become very popular for people who want to wake up to a simulated sunrise. So I created a video using an established product in the Philips sunrise alarm clock. Using a tool called Ahrefs, I researched sunrise alarm clock and looking under keyword ideas, I see that the first brand mentioned is for the keyword phrase Philips sunrise alarm clock. I wanted to test my theory that I could sell an off-brand no-name alarm clock by piggybacking off of the brand equity of the Philips product. So in this video, you can see the title says, Philips wake up light review versus $27 option. Is it worth the money? Again, context comes into play here. The context of someone searching for a review of this product is they're thinking about purchasing it, but they may be intrigued to see how it stacks up to a $27 alternative since the Philips model is over $100. In about five months time, you can see 20,000 views have accumulated on this video. That's 20,000 opportunities to change someone's mind on why they should consider this alternative product. Again, not $1 was spent on advertising. So with the Trojan horse method, you want to research products or brands in your category and see if you can do a review of their product and then compare your product or service against it. If you're number three or lower in your product category, this is a great way to piggyback off the brand equity of the number one player and get free video views for your product or service. The third method I want to share with you is called the educational sale. 
To this point, we've been discussing tactics, but not the overall strategy of how to rank videos on YouTube. It really comes down to just a few simple items. You wanna make sure the title of your video is something that people actually search. This can be established by entering your search query into YouTube and looking at the top results and see how many views they have. It is possible that some of those views are coming from ads or perhaps the video is on a highly trafficked blog post, but if you see several videos with decent view counts, that's a good sign. If you're struggling to come up with a title, you can start to search words related to your product and see what auto-suggest terms YouTube suggests. In the case of Wake Up Light, you'll see that Philips is the first brand name mentioned, and that's where I got the idea to use them as the Trojan horse because no one's searching reviews of Toto Bay alarm clocks, but a lot of people are searching reviews on Philips. When it comes to gaining organic views, the most important metric is retention time. How long can you keep someone on a video to answer their question? It doesn't mean you have to create super long pieces of content. You just need to create engaging content that keeps your visitor. Now let's talk about the educational sale. A few months back, my Nissan Altima wouldn't start. So I went to Google and searched Nissan Altima won't start. And I saw that videos were at the top of the search results. This high placement of video content tells me that people with this issue want to watch a video instead of read a blog post to solve that issue. I was intrigued when I saw that the number one video had over 600,000 views in less than four years. I then watched the video with my critical cap on and thought about all the ways it could have been done better. The best part is that in the comments, you'll have people expressing their complaints about what they didn't like in the video. So in a way, I crowdsourced the feedback and decided to make my own video. Now my video is ranking number one and is averaging around 15,000 views per month. Now you might be thinking, big deal, so what? Well, in my video, I educate people on the fact that the issue might be a bad brake switch. I show them a few possible free solutions to their issue, and then in the video, I show them how to research and buy brake switches on Amazon. Only a small percentage of people will click the link provided in the description of a YouTube video, but a much higher percentage will still purchase later on on their own. Imagine you own a company that sells brake switches. Now let's say in another four years, that video has a half a million views. It's not unreasonable to think that one video could sell thousands of products and the cost is very low since you're not paying for advertising. I partnered with Verydesk to do an educational sale video where I did a review of the best standing desk for a tall person. And that's this desk right here. This is a pretty niche specific topic, so the view counts will be low, but I've tracked three desk sales through my Amazon affiliate link for a thousand dollar desk from 2,800 views. This doesn't track all the people who went direct to Verydesk to make a purchase as well, or people who maybe made a purchase on Amazon a day later. The educational sale can sell desks, brake switches, anything your potential customer might be searching for. The importance of the strategy you put in place is crucial in determining the trajectory of your results. I've seen so many cases where someone has killer content and video production, but the views are in the hundreds. It's due to poor strategy and poor planning. Now I'm gonna give you one last example of an educational sale. That is this video itself. I created this video to connect myself with people looking for advice on how to market their product on YouTube. The title was chosen based on research and what I believe your intent would be when searching that phrase. Next, I constructed the video in a manner to provide as much value to you before making any kind of offer because viewer retention time is so important. I offer one hour consulting on strategic video campaigns where you'll have actionable advice on how to execute on a strategy on your own. At that point, if you want to hire me to launch your entire video strategy, we can discuss that as well. The one hour consultation is guaranteed. So if you don't feel like you got your money's worth, I'll refund you the money back. You'll find my contact details in the description of this video if you're interested in partnering. If you have any questions at all, feel free to comment below. Give me a thumbs up if you found this video helpful and I look forward to talking with you. Take care.